नमस्कार आउट एंड अबाउट प्रोग्राम के इस एपिसोड में आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं नवीन शर्मा आइए अब अब इस प्रोग्राम के माध्यम से आपको दिखाते हैं कि पिछले एक हफ्ते के दौरान अमेरिका के अलग अलग शहरों में कौन कौन से बड़ी घटनाएं हुई और कौन कौन से बड़े इवेंट्स हुए हमारे कैमरे ने इन इवेंट्स को किस नजरिए से कैद किया ये तस्वीरें हम आपको दिखाएंगे तो इस सफर की शुरुआत करते हैं न्यू जर्सी के होबोकन इलाके से जहां पर लगा फर्स्ट दिवाली मेला जैसा कि आप जानते हैं भारत की जो कम्युनिटी है इंडियन कम्युनिटी अमेरिका में रहती है वो दिवाली के त्यौहार को बड़ी शिद्दत बड़ी श्रद्धा और बड़े ही उत्साह के साथ मनाती है आप भी देखिए इस कार्यक्रम की ये कुछ खास तस्वीरें more about your your product brand uh, Nutribite. Sure. Um, so Nutribites, we are a 100% natural, 100% vegan, 100% uh, paleo, we've been the paleo diet. We are 100% natural, 100% organic, uh, no nonsense, uh, snack company. All of our snacks are based off of dates and jaggery and nuts and fig and we combine all these products without any natural ingredients uh, you know in the back you get those natural flavors or <laughs> all that kind of stuff so we don't add any of that no refined sugar uh, so we want to keep a healthy snack so instead of grabbing you know um, any other protein bar or any other bag of chips instead grab a Nutribite snack and something healthy and good for everybody. I think it's really exciting I think it's something that um, I think a lot of people in our community are probably a little bit aware of what Diwali is um, and this really brings an opportunity for people in our community to learn more about it and you know kind of connect the dots around this um, this great celebration. First of all happy Diwali and happy new year to all the viewers of Just and it is a great event uh, Diwali event in Hoboken. Well first namaste to all the wonderful uh, Indian American people and all the people back home there in India and happy Navarate that just ended last month and happy Diwali which we're now uh, nearing the completion of. First and foremost, I'm fortunate to represent two of the most diverse cities in the United States in Hoboken and Jersey City. And um, it's a, ple a, pl a pleasure uh, recognizing the wonderful contributions by the Indian American community to the fabric of this state, of this county, of our cities, and to this country. So, have you ever experienced like any, uh, any Diwali celebration, like any Indian friends or anybody like that? Well, yes, I've grown up in Hoboken and Jersey City, so for me, I've been part of the Indian American community for years. Um, Hoboken now has a Sikh American mayor and uh, who is doing a, a wonderful job. And also um, in, in Jersey City, there's a tremendous uh, Indian American population on Newark Avenue. I have the good fortune to have been attending my Navarate ceremonies now for about nine years and learning the dance. Dosto, hum aaj yaha, we are here with, with a very important man uh, who just for, because of him, we, he's uh, hosted a Diwali event, first time ever in Hoboken, New Jersey. Uh, I have here Mr. Ravi Bhalla. Ravi Bhalla, Satsriyakal. Satsriyakal. Aja Hoboken which both cast in Hekukwe, Peli Vari Diwali celebration Horehe. So it's a very important day for Hoboken because it's the first time we're celebrating Punjabi uh, Diwali in in Hoboken, and for the Punjabi community, it's Bandhachur Divas Day, the day that Guru Go Guru Hargobind Singh Ji was freed by the political prisoners. So it has meanings for uh, not just the Indian community generally, but for the Punjabi and Sikh community as well. So it's a celebration for all. That is awesome. And since we're in the topic of Diwali and tradition, how important is it for the second and third generation for them to know what Diwali is about? You know, since you have second and third generations that are born here in the U.S., so how important is it? 
I think it's important to for us to be proud Americans, but also to never forget where we came from. That's why this celebration is so important. So for the Sikh American community, Bunchur Devas celebrates the concept of freedom over oppression, over uh, uh, and similarly for the Indian community generally, it celebrates the triumph of good over bad. So it, these are uh, very fundamental concepts that extend beyond Punjab, beyond India, but really throughout the entire world. So it's an honor as an Indian American and a Sikh American mayor to celebrate the first Diwali here in the city of Hoboken. दिवाली पर हमारी इस खास कवरेज में अब आपको लिए चलते हैं न्यूयॉर्क के मैनहटन इलाके में जहां की मशहूर एम्पायर स्टेट बिल्डिंग को भी दिवाली की रात बड़ी ही खूबसूरत रोशनियों में सजाया गया यहां पे हुई स्पेशल लाइटिंग को देखने के लिए सैकड़ों लोग पहुंचे और एम्पायर स्टेट बिल्डिंग जो थी उस रात को देखते हुए बनती थी good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. Traditionally, diyas, or small oil lamps, are lit all over India, in homes, in shops, and offices, in celebration of this holiday. And tonight, acting as New York City's diya, the Empire State Building will shine in orange to celebrate Diwali. Indeed, I would like to invite my friend Sujal Pahi, President of the Federation of Indian Associates, to the podium to say a few words. Would you please join me? Thank you, Alex. Happy Diwali to all of you again. When the setting sun asked who shall do the rest, a quiet lamp offered, I'll do my best. Diwali is not just dating calendar. It is in our nature, in our attitude, and constant celebration of the spirit, the brightness of life. May this Diwali, the lamp inside you, glow with the brightest festival greetings, and best wishes to all. This is a really historic event on behalf of Federation of Indian Association. We thank you, Empire State Building Reality Trust, to giving us this wonderful opportunity, first time ever the lighting ceremony on the iconic building of the world, Empire State Building. Guys, big round of applause to Empire State Building. I'd like to thank singer and songwriter Jay Sean, along with Miss U.S. Indiana Dilwari, to be uh, accepted this invitation and grace this event. Uh, I'd like to introduce a few of the guests at my uh, 2019 uh, President Lake Alok Kumar here. Uh, Raju Batra from uh, uh, Diwali Stamps, who initiated last year, Kamlesh, Kamlesh Mehta Ji from South Asian Times, who had covered wonderfully, Mr. Ilyas Kuresi from uh, News India Times, uh, my, my sponsors, and all the guests today. All the media, you have done a wonderful job to publicize this amazing event. We cannot ask for the best Diwali ever. On a token of Diwali, Alex, we give out uh, the sweets. We distribute the sweets. So, on behalf of Federation of Indian Association, we'd like to present the Diwali sweets to you and Empire State Building. Hello, everyone. How you guys doing? Happy Diwali to everybody. Thank you. I'm Jay Sean. Uh, this is Nina. Uh, I just want to say, really, first of all, being a Brit, how incredible it is being chosen as one of the uh, South Asians to come up here and do such an incredible thing. What a moment for us. I mean, you know. Long time ago, when my granddad came to England from India, he had to cut his hair, get rid of his turban just to get a job to work as packing sausages in a, in a meat factory. Many years on, here his grandson is able to come and switch on the lights with the body. It's just incredible. So thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. 
Thank you so much, everyone. It's an honor to be here alongside Jay. And um, I remember competing for Miss America and wanting to be the first South Asian to win the title. And um, while that was a wonderful opportunity, my main mission was to really educate and create cultural competency and diversity, which I've been doing for hopefully over the past five years. And now this is just another milestone for not only the Indian culture to celebrate Diwali and diversity, um, but also hopefully for many other cultures along the way. So thank you guys for this step and joining us. One, two, three. Flip the switch. Yeah, well, I've actually, this is my second time lighting the Empire State Building, so maybe I'll go back for third. Um, but the first time it was uh, while I was uh, during my year of service as Miss America, and um, now today is that much more meaningful for me to actually be back um, because I'm lighting it for Diwali. And um, as my mission as Miss America was to bring diversity and cultural competency across the nation and across the world, and uh, this is a milestone in that. And so it's not just the Indian culture, it's all cultures. And so, uh, uh, forwards. It was, you know, I remember wanting to win, uh, be, to become the first South Asian Miss America to win the title um, because I felt like there wasn't anyone who liked me. I didn't grow up having blonde hair or blue eyes and I felt um, incredibly different. And so while winning Miss America was one of my dreams and it was really wonderful, um, it was about reaching out to that young girl who I knew was watching the night I won and for her to finally say, this year, Miss America looks like me and I don't have to fit a certain type or of course, wishing everyone a very happy Diwali. Um, it's been such a pleasure speaking with all of you, and I can't wait for a very happy and prosperous year. <laughs> it's amazing. It's great to be here. Um, I'm here with my family. I've got my daughter over there. I've got my wife and my, my son. Uh, man, just to be able to do what I did today, it's a really incredible thing, man. I mean, it's very rare that you're very excited over something new nowadays. When you've been in the industry for 15 years, you think you've seen everything. And then they're like, oh, by the way, did you switch on that? I'm like, no. <laughs> so then for me to have that chance, incredible. Hi, my name is Nina Davalori and you're watching Just Hindi. अब आपको लिए चलते हैं न्यूयॉर्क के एलमरस्ट इलाके में जहां पर एक सीनियर एडल्ट सेंटर जिसे साउथ एशियन सीनियर एडल्ट सेंटर का नाम दिया गया है इसकी ग्रैंड ओपनिंग हुई इस मौके पर न्यूयॉर्क में रहने वाली इंडियन कम्युनिटी की कई मशहूर शख्सियतें भी मौजूद थीं I am a president for South Asian Senior Center and I am the chairman for Jackson Height Merchant Station and I have a senior center that I opened 
ओनली फॉर पब्लिक जिनके पास मेडिकेट है और जिनकी एज सिक्सटी फाइव है ये जो सेंटर है मेरा एक और भी है और ये सेंटर एक ऐसा सेंटर बनाया है जैक्सन हाइट में क्योंकि यहाँ के लोग जो हैं वो मुझे सब लोग जानते हैं और आज हमारा दिवाली के दिनों के अंदर हम इसकी ग्रैंड ओपनिंग कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पर सब भाई बहन आए हैं और यहाँ शहरी जी यहाँ गाने गा रहे हैं और योगा जी के लिए बलजीत जी जो पीएचडी डॉक्टर हैं उन्होंने एक घंटा दिया है और अभी मैं सभी भाई बहनों से रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ कि वो यहाँ पर अपने मदर फादर मदर इन लॉ और फादर इन को लाए और घर बैठे क्या करेंगे यहाँ पर उनकी जो एज है वो यंग हो जाएंगे जो बूढ़े नहीं हैं और उनका टाइम बहुत पास करेगा हम यहाँ से उनको घर से लाएंगे और यहाँ पर ब्रेकफास्ट देंगे सुबह नौ से साढ़े दस उसके बाद योगा होगा उसके बाद हमारा कल्चर प्रोग्राम होगा और कोई कैरम बोर्ड खेलेगा कोई टेनिस खेलेगा और मैं सभी भाई बहनों को दिवाली की बहुत बहुत मुबारक देता हूँ जीवन में योगा उतना ही ज़रूरी है जितना जीवन में आ, काम करना ज़रूरी है और जब इस देश में खासकर मैं देखता हूँ जब काम का स्ट्रेस बढ़ने लगता है तो जीवन का मज़ा कम होने लगता है जीवन को मज़े से जीने के लिए जितना काम ज़रूरी है उससे ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है योगा योगा दो तरीके का है एक योगा है जो शरीर को स्वस्थ रखता है और एक मेडिटेशन है साधना है प्राणायाम है जो मन को स्वस्थ रखता है आप जितना मन से स्वस्थ रहेंगे ना उतना आप काम में अच्छे तरीके से रहेंगे और आपने जैसे मुझे कहा कि मैं डायनामिक हूँ ऐसा कुछ नहीं है आप अच्छे हैं इसलिए आपको मैं अच्छा लगता हूँ और योगा करने के लिए जीवन में दुनिया में एकमात्र योगा ऐसा है जिसको 226 देशों ने विद इन टू मंथ उसको पास कर दिया यू में योगा डे मनाया जाने लगा कितना ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है जिन्होंने यू नो टू गिव ए स्माइल टू टू दीज पीपल जो जो आने वाला है क्योंकि सीनियर्स है ना सीनियर्स देखो कोई घर में से अपसेट होता है कोई यू नो दे लिविंग अलोन टू अकेले होते हैं घर में तो यहाँ आते हैं तो एंजॉय करते हैं ब्रेकफास्ट करते हैं योगा करते हैं लंच करवाते हैं हमारे यहाँ पिकअप एंड ड्रॉप है पिक भी करते हैं ड्रॉप भी करते हैं चार पाँच घंटे यहाँ पे एंटरटेन होता है फिर यहाँ से हम लोग सबकी बर्थडेज मनाते हैं एवरी मंथ जिसकी भी बर्थडे होती है सेलिब्रेट करते हैं और उन लोगों के गिफ्ट्स देते हैं आउटसाइड में लेके जाते हैं मूवीज़ लेके जाते हैं पार्क में लेके जाते हैं अच्छे सारा इंटरटेन हो जाता है लोगों का इसलिए यहाँ आना ज़्यादा पसंद करते हैं you know to play guitar and and do certain fusions and stuff well I'm a third generation musician so inspiration comes from family and from your surroundings you know there you go that's awesome i feel like you know when you when you have like a certain kind of background like you know you're and i see that you're you're not only half indian but you're also a half uh, brazilian yeah. as well yeah. then where do you get that brazilian side from my grandfather was portuguese brazilian so you know oh, that's and he came to india he settled in india and there you go and that's yeah. awesome so what made you get into uh, into like you know into singing when did when did you start uh, when did you start getting interested in music Well, music, as I said, you know, it's a third-generation uh, business in the family, and it's just a way of life. When you're when you're home and you have a musician here, you have a musician there in the living room, in the bedroom. What else are you gonna do? You're gonna become a musician. Uh, Akhil Bhatti, uh, who has played tabla, and and you also were telling me that that you were that you also teach. Tell me a little bit more about yes, that. Yes, uh, since uh, 2005, I'm a Faculty at University of Pennsylvania. I'm teaching tabla two semesters every every year. Oh, wow! And what made you uh, want to teach uh, tabla to to other people? Well, it, it feels like I'm learning again. You know, I mean, teaching is learning too. But um, I really enjoy, you know, teaching teaching and people from different regions like Penn has students all over the world. 
thank you so much, uh, IT. Oh, sorry, just Hindi. <laughs> I know it's been uh, an amazing evening. Uh, Shame Ghazal with Deepak Puri. Deepak has actually been singing for a very, very long time. Uh, he has been singing for five years. And in school, we are from Delhi. So in school, he was shocked by the Ghazal. Mein kafi raha. So he was called as the Ghazal King of Delhi. Um, but then, you know, Padhai ho gayi, he became uh, a chartered accountant and everything, everything. And then, we have come to this time when the children are young and we are getting back to our passion. We are singing for a lot of years, but today, like the evening, it was very special, it was very special. We had an amazing time. I cannot tell you, Deepak, how amazing you were tonight. Thank you so much, Michael. I really appreciate your kind words. Not a problem. So what, what made you get into singing and how did it all start? Actually, you know, my family and my, you know, generations before, for, before me, we were into singing. But, you know, back in, you know, you go back 70, 80 years, you know, it was not considered a very good profession, right? So, but I had my, my grandfather, my grandfather's brothers, they had their own classical school in Lahore, you know, in uh, India. And so it just, you know, it's the genes. And, uh, you know, I started, I started singing at the age of six. And my grandfather and my grandfather's brother, they started encouraging me a lot. And it just, I think I had a God gift, but I had to literally work very hard on it, practice, etc., etc. And I've just enjoyed singing for a long time now. तो ये था जी आज का आउट एंड अबाउट प्रोग्राम का हमारा सफर आपको ये कार्यक्रम कैसा लगा अपने फीडबैक हमें दीजिए और यदि आप भी किसी खास इवेंट की कवरेज इस प्रोग्राम में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें आप इन्फो एट जस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग डॉट कॉम पर ईमेल कर सकते हैं अगले हफ्ते एक नए सफर एक नई स्टोरीज के साथ आपसे फिर मुलाकात होगी तब तक के लिए नमस्कार